Maverick owners are going to be spoiled with the customization choices they have when the Maverick hits the road this fall. The 2021 Chicago Auto Show marked the first opportunity to see the new 2022 Ford Maverick truck up close and in the metal. Anyone who thought Ford's baby pickup couldn't be a, quote, proper truck can rest easy because the Maverick looks bold in person. We've already seen that non-truck owners are flocking to the Maverick, but traditional truck owners should also find plenty to love in this model. We saw this interview recently where CarBuzz sat down with marketing manager Trevor Scott to discuss who might consider the Maverick as their next vehicle. He said they're coming from different segments looking at a truck for the first time, sounding confident that the Maverick wouldn't cannibalize Ranger sales. People are looking to take the Ranger off-road, he said. And he added that the Ranger hasn't cannibalized the F-150. Now we know that truck owners love to customize their vehicles, and in this regard the Maverick will not disappoint. The Maverick on display at the Chicago Auto Show showed off the flex bed with a painted 2x6 locking a mountain bike into place. We have a lot more bed accessories coming with a QR code to find do-it-yourself options, Scott explained. Ford is slated to release new options such as tonneau covers, storage dividers, and cargo nets, but the Maverick is unique because it allows owners to craft their own parts. As with the bed, owners will have the opportunity to customize the Maverick's interior. The Ford integrated tether system accommodates 3D printed items such as a cup holder. Scott says he expects owners to create useful attachments such as a tablet, smartphone mounts, decorative items, and other unique solutions that Ford's engineers simply haven't thought of. Okay, so here's a little more about the FIT system. We created these DIY hacks for the interior space using the FIT slot. FIT stands for Ford Integrated Tether System. It's proprietary to Ford Motor Company. It's a very simple plug and play slot that allows you to put different accessories in the interior, whether they be 3D printed, uh, manufactured. On the back of our center console, we've got a fit slot that can be used to add accessories, extra cup holders, place for your iPad for the kids to watch a show while you're on a, on a road trip. All kinds of things the customer can create can be utilized in that space. And what's really great about it is it's fairly universal in how it can fit things. We've also included multiple fit slots in that storage bin under the seat so you can store your accessories you make for your interior there, but you can also divide it differently. Scott wasn't ready to share what engine choice, the hybrid or the 2.0 liter EcoBoost Ford anticipates will be in higher demand. Here's what he said, quote, we will build them to demand, but we're in a unique position because the hybrid drivetrain is usually optional, he said. He explained that the standard hybrid drivetrain should entice buyers with affordability and efficiency. And because it's a unibody, the ride and handling will be like a small SUV. So Ford may dominate this segment in terms of fuel economy, but we wondered if the Maverick will ever get more than 250 horsepower offered from the EcoBoost engine. Scott didn't really commit to that. He said, we're never going to say no. We shaved two years off the development cycle with cross-platform sharing, which means there could be plenty of time to create a performance variant. So we want to know, what do you think the market will be for the fit system components in the Maverick? Let us know in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching. And hey, before you go, smash that like button if you love the Ford Maverick like we love the Ford Maverick.